Welcome to this presentation on custom activities in the Voltage File Analysis Suite. In Voltage FAS, I not only have the possibility to analyze and classify information, I also have the possibility to act on the data. Uh, but what if I need to apply a policy to act on my identified documents with an activity which is not part of the standard out-of-the-box um, possibilities like delete, move, and uh, encrypt. Uh, what if I need to uh, send files to a DLP system? If I need to create a list of the files in a CSV to send it to a reporting tool? In that case, I will need uh, custom activities to develop a specific action for this data. So what can I do? In my FAS uh, interface, I have worked on a subset of uh, the data. Uh, here, I call it data cleanup. Uh, this subset of data is called a workspace in uh, FAS. And uh, in this uh, workspace, I have uh, created a set of uh, classes of uh, data that we call uh, workbooks. On a workbooks, selecting this workbook, I can on the right uh, select uh, the activities. This is where I see the list of uh, standard activities, but also uh, the button to activate this custom activity. And how does it work behind the scene? What do I need to do to create this custom activity? It is first important to understand what happens when you uh, click on the custom activity button. So I've selected my workbook, click on the button, it will put the workbook in a queue. It will mark it, uh, and you see here the status is pending, mark it to be processed. And then I will need to have an action, a program, which is probably scheduled every day, every week, that will connect to the FAS environment because this program will be outside of the FAS environment on one of my servers. It will connect to uh, the FAS environment and process this workbook that have been marked. So let's see how this program looks like at a high level. So first of all, it will connect and do all these actions through the Web Services API of FAS. The first one will be to log into the system with an API development account, so an account that have the, the access to the API. Then the second call will be to list the workbooks that are in a pending mode, pending status, so that we know which ones are to be processed. Then it will update the workbook status to processing so that we mark for the end user that we are currently processing this workbook. Then we will need to get the list of documents that are to be processed, so the ones that are in this workbook collect all the necessary information, so the metadata from FAS. In the example on the right, we see that I have uh, selected uh, the file path and the title of the document, but there are many other metadata available in FAS. It's now time to process the document, so create a, a CSV file or do some other action. Once I've finished, I will update the workbook status to completed and will log out from FAS. Let me show you an example of a very simple external activity that I've written in PowerShell. So we see here our data cleanup workspace and the classes, the workbooks. I select the trivial data workspace, go to activities, push the custom activity button, yes, and as expected, the workbook is now in pending status. You see here my PowerShell script, and as planned, the first thing to do is to invoke the REST method to log in to the system. So this is what I execute here. I will stop the script and do it step by step so that you can see all the steps. Now it's time to get the pending workbooks, and you see here the command to get that from uh, FAS. Everything is documented, uh, of course. You can see all the commands uh, available in the API. 
So the result is as expected, uh, my trivial uh, data that I have uh, displayed here. I now need to set the status of the workbook to processing. And uh, if I now go back in the interface, we see that after a couple of seconds, the workbook is in the processing status. So now let's collect the list of documents that are in this workbook. We have a method for that that will connect to this workbook, get the list, and you see that I've simply displayed them here on the interface. And if we go in the, the web interface, we see the list of documents. So that's the correct documents that have been collected here. So we have processed our documents. Now let's mark the workbook as completed. Uh, very simple here. Send the command to FAS and it's now in status completed. And of course, uh, finally, uh, this is always good to log out properly from the system and send the logout command. Uh, Note that uh, in all these commands, I always uh, pass a token to uh, the interface. This is important. This is something you get when you log in. You get back a token uh, as an answer. So you need to keep this token and uh, give this token every time you send a command to the API. That's the protocol to uh, be able to connect and uh, have interaction with uh, the API and uh, the FAS system. This concludes this presentation. Hopefully this very simple example of custom activity helps you to understand how this works and how you can build your own activities with FAS. What we've seen in this presentation is that FAS can analyze, classify information, but also take actions on the information. And these actions are not limited to what is out of the box in the system. You can build your own activities and make anything you want with the information classified by FAS. Thank you for watching.